Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Railway Empire. We've completed the last uh, campaign so this time we are moving on to the second so chapter chapter two over here. So we're going to be going back in time to 1830. Uh, this charter is about oh sorry this charter the early days. This chapter is all about the modest buildings of the railroad but how they then quickly revolutionized transportation in the US, helping to revive the prosperous prosperity of the industrial centers on the far east coast. While you are building up your first railway road empire and leading your tracks further towards the west to the Great Lakes, you will also learn about the economic systems behind the railway. Philip Evans Thomas, a well-known railway road enthusiast from Baltimore, will be right with you. Joy, joys. Let's have a look at this one. So, we're on realistic. I don't want it easy, so we can actually change that now. Uh, we're going to leave that on realistic. I did an evaluation of the contenders, and I am the best choice. He's very modest, isn't he? You've got to admit. So we're going to stick with Baltimore and Ohio, and we'll continue on. I think we'll have a little sequence again. In 1830, the prosperous industrial centers on the east coast of the United States of America were poorly connected to the mainland. Insufficiently developed toll roads and slow ship canals were the only options when making long journeys. Farmers, businessmen, and travelers lamented these long, arduous, and above all, unsafe transport routes. They were not only an inconvenience for travelers, but also shackles on an emergent nation's hunger to grow. But at this time, a development from England was taking its first steps and helped keep alive the hope of many cities in the east of reaching greater economic influence and growth. I've been waiting for you. I'm Philip Evan Thomas. It's always been my dream to build a railroad to the Ohio River and beyond. That would help everyone, both the settlers and the natives. And I need your help with that. First of all, I have two tasks for you in order to build a base from where we can monitor further activities. But as I learned back when I was a bank clerk, the books must always balance. So take care to make a profit, even with these preliminary assignments. All right, so our first task is to connect these two locations, so Baltimore and Washington. So I'm going to drop in in the center. Oops, no. On build, and we'll go for a small railway. Let's drop him that way. Smack bang in the center. Let's also look at doing our tracks. We're going to stick on the very edge track here, and we'll take it to there. So we've got four percent incline. Oh dear. Let's see if we can level that out. Six, five. That's quite a harsh incline we've got there. Let's bin that and start again. Let's see what it gives us again this time. So four percent for right. Okay. Do you know what? I'm going to stick with that. <laughs> Let's oh, buy this new fish and swimming in our pond. Greetings from the second line in Charlotte. What was your name again? As I want to Beautiful ensure, stranger, wasn't it? Well, that's what that we you look have. like. Just let me know if you need help push starting your trains. Everything sorted there, so we're doing that. We'll put our signals on, and this time we'll get them correct. Look, so to be we clear, want. I have nothing against strangers. Some of my best friends are strangers. But you're not from here, and New York is my city. That's where I do business. I say when the trains roll, where they're going, and why. As long as you don't get in my way, everything will be a-okay between us. 
Okay, so there are two competitors. Our two competitors have introduced themselves to you. They have different approaches and so will behave differently. Basically, however, they want to expand their rail networks and make a profit just like you do. So stay on guard and don't let them take advantage of you. All right, so we've now just put our first line in. Let's just pause this. Um, hang on. I used to pause it, I'm sure of it. Oh dear, all right. We've just put our first line in, so we're going to Baltimore to Washington. Uh, we've got two trains on there, and we've got them both set up so they can uh, run consecutively. So we've got, hopefully, we've got all the stop signs sorted. We should stop here. Yes, and the tracks, the, the gaps between the signals are sufficient that we can potentially put multiple trains on here and we will still uh, be able to uh, supply these routes. Now, we want to get things rolling on um, getting some more resources in. So we've got three farms over here and we're going to need to, and we've got a of wheat over here so realistically we want to connect as many of these to up as possible so looking at the last time we had the large train station uh, I think we will stick with that again and can we do anything with those two yes we can perfect so we're gonna connect these up to our little track here now we're in the middle so I'm just going to pop that to there, to there, and then fill that, and again, double, double that track up. Okay, so from here, oops, from here we can then just spread those out because what I'd like is if I can get a third line in here actually, because uh, I'd like to have um, my New York route that I'm going to have to go to next. Hang on, come on. Ah, bin that, that's why. So there we go. Yeah, that's slightly separated. Oops, there we go. Right, and then just move these up slightly. Up equal. so that all together we can then put our supply tower in situ there that's perfect right so we're going to have uh, two routes going off we're going to have one going off to our Lopez farm uh, so let's take that over here and let's move these to try and mitigate the cost oops uh, bear in mind again this a lot of this incline is uh, going uphill so we should theoretically be okay uh, with a train that's can we get that any closer no what's going to be our let's delete that and let's start again so that's actually let's see what it does going around so we've got four percent uh, actually, do you know what that'll do? And we'll have this other one mirroring it for a short spell and taking that up to there. The bigger Perfect. a city gets, the greater its demands get too. At so some let's point, put on the goods from the immediate area will no longer be enough. That's where the railroad comes in handy. Now select Baltimore. 
to take a closer look at the city. So we're just going to get these trains running. Every line. Round a train to that one. So I should now have Nolan Breed and, and Lopez. So those both are now connected. Let's have a look at what our Baltimore, Baltimore is after. The headquarters of our firm is located has a large clothing industry. The city therefore needs a constant supply of fabrics. In New York, on the other hand, the fashion conscious customers are waiting mm. for deliveries of ready tailored goods. Lay a rail line between Baltimore and New York so that the clothing produced in Baltimore can be delivered to New York. Okay, so we need to get our New York line up and running, which is what this third line is going to be. Um, thinking what else have we got in, in Baltimore? We have got um, meat factory and textiles, so they just need cloth. So cloth, I have a feeling, is produced over in Pittsburgh, yes. So we're going to need to be able to get our train line eventually going through this section, and we'll also connect up this Wilson farm to it um but we're also going to be coming across our other competitors shortly um i'm just gonna let's have a look if i put in you know what this route could just follow the rest of this no reason why it can't go straight through a, another um farm so it's on the second line Oops, actually we need our station, don't we? So we want to have our train station smack bang in the center. This is going to upset our competitors immediately. Um, but hey-ho. Hey, Let's drop him there. You're starting to drive me mad. And let's pop it in our other line. To there. Right, how are we looking for gradients? That's... 400,000 but we've only got a small grade in there now if I just pull this out bring that in a bit to try and keep this cost down okay so 1% we've got quite a steep 5% there and 3% there so what can we do on this 5 not that. Hmm, let's bin that and start again. Let's build that section. connected so how's that it's four percent hmm. 19 percent that's quite steep hmm. okay so i can go for 19 percent that'll seriously affect our trains ability to go up there but i'm wondering whether just for simplicity let's just actually this time round just because i want to try and keep things as smooth as possible whether i should just stick with the tunnel hmm. it's going to use up all my budget don't think i can afford that so that's not too bad, 4%. 50,000, yeah, we'll do that. We can also then duplicate the tracks as well quite easily. Let's take that off to here. And let's have that follow him around. Is it feasible to do that? Yes, it is. So we can have... 
perfect. So we can have a double track into uh, New York quite easily. So let's just pop you there. Okay, so your outside is that one. So on this side. There we go. So, whoops, that's not the way I want it. These go that way. That way. Perfect. And then we want that way. Oops, that way. fact I'm going to delete that one. Oops, I have that one. Right, let's get that sign. I didn't mean to take that one out. Oh no, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. So we've got the stop sign on the inside track and this for going that way and we've got the stop sign on the outside track. That's perfect. So we now just need to get our routes. New York straight to Baltimore. Perfect. And we'll accept that and we'll add a train and close that and then we'll duplicate it. Stay alert. And I'm going to I will right. check on your progress from time to time. Waiting for activation. Okay. Uh, we've got one supply tower here. I'm thinking of a second supply tower a little further down the road. There we go. Just to ensure that uh, we don't have any issues. Now also because we are... Yeah, let's have another train. We could do with actually having a few trains running between these two locations and not just sing a single one. So how are we doing for fulfilling Baltimore's requirements? Uh, okay. I'll be see there. Right, we need to connect Baltimore to Pittsburgh uh, and then deliver 10 wool from bit, uh, wool to Pittsburgh and then deliver 20 loads of clothes to New York. So, Pittsburgh is over here and we want wool from there. So, the first things first, let's build um, a train station. Um, let's think about this because it's going to be a larger one yeah let's pop you there and let's pop in a smaller supply route just there um, direct it diagonally that way then we can hopefully get a nice smooth route in so that's 0 percent so that's perfect so Let's have uh, a maintenance workshop. Uh, we're not going to have anything else going on on this route, so we'll have that there. Oh, no, it looks like one of your trains has a problem. And she will continue doing that for however long she wants to. Right. Okay, so we now want to get our train line running between those two. Uh, uh, nope, new train line here, to so here. Automatic, yes, and add a train to it, perfect. That'll start getting us wool in place. Uh, we've only got 300,000 now, but we need to get our train line over to um, Baltimore. So let's have a look at what we can do. So at the moment, um, those two lines are being used for different goods. Why don't I look at pulling off this one and taking it all the way over to Pittsburgh. And we are in the external one, so let's just jump into the middle. So that's going to cost two 
Ooh, I had 1.6 million. I don't have that much money. So, what if we were to pull that right down over here? Okay, so we're there. Uh, what if we were to bring that a little further, oops, a little further down? About here. Um, that's still 800,000. That's still a lot of money. Um, can I do anything else? 600 and go through them at the incline of 20. Oh, that is horrendous. And with still eternal as well. Okay, let's uh, let's forget that one. All right, so we need 800,000 potentially to spend on that. So let's speed this up a little bit. We're going to pop it on here again. Let's work out our route if you transport again. the clothing from Baltimore with your rail line, you will be making a considerable contribution to the growth of the industry. Everyone profits from that. Yes, I, I do understand that, sir. Excellent. Okay, that's got no incline now. We've got 2% there, we've got 1% there. But we're close to a mil million pound. In the staff dialogue window. Yeah, so then let's need to leave that the for the time being. Details of the selected train to assign now. the staff to it. You should look Break for down. your train. Now open the train details of your most important train and assign an engineer and a stoker to go. it. All right. Okay. So our most important train. I suppose I need to put in a new schedule. So if I put in a new train, set a train line to here to Baltimore to Washington Can I do that and to Washington ah it's not connected I've got that it's not on the same lines so we need to uh, deal with that so we change that to a goods express goods accept that and add loco to that express goods then assign a stoker and Conductor. Perfect, because that's going to be traveling with our. We don't have first call on cities, farms, or Oops. mines. Of course, your transport income will fall if your competitors connect these to their rail networks. Oh no! It looks like one of your trains has a problem. Tracks, locomotives, buildings, and yeah. cash all there increase the value of your company. Missed the off the uh, this is, supply. The higher the price of your company stock. Okay, so they'll be happier now. Perfect. Just as other companies Ooh. buy stocks from you, you are able to buy some from them. <sighs> if you do that, you will profit from the success of your competitors. You should buy stocks right. via the company dialogue window now. I'm in two minds of what to try and buy so to buy him out altogether in one go is going to be is um, growing and thriving that is mainly thanks to the railroad that you build well done yeah you see if i buy him out in one go at this moment in time it'll cost me one and a half million pound oops what's this current bid timetables yeah let's go for that forgetting about research say are you a Perfect. bit slow i have already bid okay so i'm going to one of your trains didn't make it hmm why is that empty okay Right, so I've got, um, let's have a look at my tasks. So I've got that to achieve before 1932. So I need that money to come in. So I don't really want to buy any shares in anyone at this moment. Um, this guy here, I will buy out in one lump sum, I hope. 
Um, bad condition. Why is it bad condition? D don't have a... There we go. Maintenance. That's sorted. What's this? Connection bonus. Ooh. And we could do with getting some wood. And One let's have a look what we need. Doing what it should be doing. Ah, right. Okay, let's have a security guard. Um. Let's hire him. Okay. What's going on there? They're certainly bringing stock into New York, aren't they? Right, so where are we at with this uh, railway line? It's going to cost me 900,000. Now, that is predominantly that tunnel at 600,000. Is it worth, I wonder? Let's just take that up here. It's 1.7 million. You know what, I think it probably is worth that. That is a substantial reduction. Okay, we've got a 6% gradient there, but we can do that now. So let's just do that. And let's get a new line running between the two. Thank you very much. So between there. Oops. One. Two. And accept, add new loco. Right, while that's running, we will sort out additional tracks because I do want to be able to have uh, multiple trains on here. So that's quite a level playing field through there. It should be doing. You are doing my head in. Oh, man. Oh, don't make such a fuss. A bit of bad press never hurt anyone. So Coming up with some dirty tricks, I think, by the sounds of things. Doke, so that's 140,000. So we'll accept that. Got our signals there, and then we want that. The wrong way around. Yep. And we want our signal over here. There we go. So that one is right, so that way around. You really should pay more attention to the maintenance of your locomotives. Oh, don't make such a fuss. A bit of bad press never hurt right, anyone. Right, which way are they going? Oops. Have I done those signals correctly? That's all done. Yeah, someone's hiring a newspaper man. So, right, so I'm hoping I've done these correctly. 
It's rather frustrating if I have not. Unfortunately, okay. one of your trains didn't make it. Right, so he's doing my head in now, so I think it's probably time we try and... Now let's just... Uh, duplicate that. And again. So that should... Let's put another... Ooh, uh, yeah, let's get a bit more door track over here. John Hancock. Um, yeah, go on in. Um, Excuse me, but could you keep out of this? You're driving the price up. Hmm. Let's drop that in there, actually. And delete that one. Oh no! It looks like one of your trains has a problem. There we go, so what's that? That's a stop that direction, so let's take that off and put a stop on it over here. And there we go. Perfect. So we want that that way, yeah. Perfect. I'll do. That's enough of those, I think. And that's only a small section to worry about, so let's duplicate that train as well so we get more. Right, let's have a look at research because we've not looked at that for a while. Now we can get this John Bull. We've got the John Hancock. Hank, Hank, Hank. We've got 900 points, so let's go for a few things that will actually just improve our... Uh, um, yeah, we can do that. Safety valve, yeah, we'll go for that. Let's have a look at what this train will give us, so actually you we'll can go for the John Bull anyway. Straight to the shed. So, we've got the John Hancock that's 18 mile an hour, oh, or we've no. now got the John it looks Bull. Like one of your trains has a so, if we replace all of them, which is a pretty good idea, we are increasing our trains fast, from 15 mile an hour to 21. So that should help immensely with our finances, and we should get a lot quicker train routes. Now, what are our tasks? We're still waiting for... The, um, let's have a look, jump over to here, uh, increase the number of passengers, yeah, let's have that. Um, we, um, we need to buy stocks in our competitor, so I'm hoping that until I've got enough money, it's not going to uh, move on to the next thing or become more of a uh, problem for us. Because uh, I do want to uh, buy out Don Johnson before he starts causing me problems. Um, so we've got a single train down here. Chief Engineer, now I'm not worried about the moment. What are we doing in Pittsburgh? We're actually getting everything out. 21 fabrics. So we should have, with those multiple trains on that route, quite a good... Um, supply route and as we're also going down here with two trains which seem to be full each time that's uh, it's not bad it's not bad at all 
Makes me wonder whether I should actually make that station slightly larger and uh, put another train on there, or just leave it with a two. Uh, what we're going to doing over here? So Don Johnson's jumped in the middle of here, and he's now picking up for both, isn't he? So, right. Do I want? Where's this train? He's there. And the other train's there. Okay. Wonder whether I actually want to put a second uh, train on both those tracks. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of wondering whether I do. Got 900,000. So let's have a look at what I can do. Ooh, auction parcel. Uh, yes, I'll have that. Thank you. Increases number of packages in each city where your company has stations, so it should just mean we get uh, better mail. Do you even effect. know what you were bidding on? Right, let's have a look at Don Johnson. Let's see what, how many shares we can buy now for a million pound. Um, right, okay, so it's now he's now two and a half million, so we can go oh, no. it looks like one of your to fifty percent uh, in a minute. Let's just get some more money if in. If you own enough shares Perfect. in your competitor, you can merge with them and incorporate their routes and buildings with yours. Your competitor Perfect. will then be out of business for good. It's this should stay just between us, as it's, well, not entirely legal. But we That's, need to uh, keep all of our options open. A saboteur Beatrice. has applied for a job with you. If you yeah. send him to one of your competitors, he will make trouble for them. This can also cause their stock price to fall. Go on, grab it. This increases the price of my fast trains. You don't have to deploy saboteurs to do better than your competitors. You could deal with them in a more classy and legal way. Take I'm going to send at this. Which routes are more lucrative and will ensure you become the most important transporter there? One of your employees was looking for a new position, so I've offered him a job. By the way, your competitor, Don Lorenzo, <laughs> is a bit of a gang boss. You could imagine that he has good connections to bandits and saboteurs. So it's much easier for him to deploy such characters. You should look for your train. Right, with that in mind, I am actually going to go for, against Beatrice. Um because otherwise uh, I will get absolutely hammered from Don Johnson. Is it Don Johnson? Don Lorenzo. Um, oh no, with his... how immature! Don't worry <laughs> about it. Who's interested in what the tabloids say, right? You should have learned the most important aspects of your position by now. I'll let you get on with your responsibilities. Stay alert. Uh -oh. I will check on your progress from time to time. Right, so we need to hit this 100,000 in Baltimore. We need to buy 20% shares in, in our competitor, which we've already got 50 shares, or 50% shares. Will reach all the way um, to the West Coast. Every day, huge crowds of people set out to cross the entire country. And the trains right, will let's continue to get faster. Don't look at me say, like that. Yeah. <laughs> we can't stop progress. Oh, it looks like one of your trains has a problem. Yes, it has. I don't need you to keep reminding me. Thank you very much, Beatrice. Um, and I'm going to take this route. And we've got two lines here that I've put in. So I'm kind of thinking that we need to pick up these little other... Um... Oops, there we go. Uh, no, I'll pop you into that one. Yeah, that one. It's 200,000. Um, is it worth it? Zero incline? Yeah, I think so. Nice straight forward line. Let's go for it. And we can then put on oops, new line to Pittsburgh. And we'll add local. Ooh, we've got our three locos, haven't we? So let's just go for a jumble. Unfortunately, one of your trains didn't make it. 
Yeah, because you keep messing things up. As soon as I can get rid of you, the better. So let's just pop this all the way in. So where are we up to? That's 150. Yeah, let's do that. And put our supply tower in the middle. And let's get some signals in place. So we want this one there so it forces it on the outside did you know that i am speaking in washington on behalf of some indian tribes and they this side have granted me the title of haiwa nab which means the <laughs> benevolent one okay i believe you yep i suppose the way to look at this is the big section of it is the route, the direction of the trains going on there. So that will always be right then, won't it? Especially if we follow a train. another station here now right okay so let's uh, get where are you where's that train let's duplicate that um, oh no it looks like one of your trains yeah. has a problem oh be quiet right let's see what we can buy for Don Johnson Don Johnson Renzo so one share so we need a million to buy another uh let's do well done you now possess your first block of shares in a competitor nope i own 80 percent in a competitor and we'll get rid of don very Say, shortly are you a bit slow Right. I have already bid. So we now got these that we can connect. Now, what is that one of our tasks? Uh, connect ten rural business to your network. We've got five. So we've got a fruit farm, and veg. Oops. So we can drop that one in. Unfortunately, one of your trains didn't make it. Like so, and pick up. We don't need a small one for this one, I think. Oh, Put it on with that side. Delicate little things. I just can't say no. What is this station good there for? There we go. It so angers me that to this day this. nobody has erected a memorial to our founding father, George Washington. I hope that the disputes about it will be over someday, and I'll be the first to make a donation towards it. Okay, so that train's going to go in both directions. He says, thinking, let's get this right. So that train route will go... Uh, can we get that to there? Uh, yeah, let's go for it. Let's take that in. 1%, yeah, I'm happy with that. And then we'll take that one. Actually, do you know what? I just need routes to go in both directions, don't I? So you're going to have... Right, let's just get a train running on those for the time being. Um... Oops. Get a rail line running first. So here to there. And add a low code, add John Bull. A little investment and in your company stocks can't harm anyone, can it? Oops, new line. Oops. Set up line, so we want from here to 
there. That's loco again. Perfect. Right, okay, let's have a look what's going on with uh, our little madam here, Beatrix. So she's bought, how much she bought? And she's My bought 16% of our business. His accounts of how the railroad is used right. in mining there fascinated me. However, Let's in do America, that. we have considerably Emerge. greater distances to overcome. A mammoth task. Oh dear, there seems to be a little problem with one of your locomotives. Excellent. You have defeated a competitor and taken over all their routes and buildings. Perfect. Don't think right. about it. That only happened because you greased the way with the right people. <sighs> Ooh, a million already. That's ridiculous. So it's going to be a problem trying to buy out or to maintain a similar sort of level of stocks in Beatrix. I can but assure we will go you ahead that your and money is start. well invested in my company. Okay. Right, okay, so what are the tasks have we got? Done. Okay, so we need to get a company business. We've got two more to get up uh, to our 10. We need uh, a few more million on there, and we need to get Baltimore up to um, 100,000. But we've also now got Don Johnson here. Don Johnson, Don Lorenzo. He is going in here, so I'm wondering whether you really if I should pay more attention to the maintenance of your locomotive out all this lot because I don't need it. I've already got these routes. Uh although I haven't got a route going this way. Hmm. So maybe what I should do then is uh we've got Albany there. Let's connect these two so that we can actually do some more tracks. Thank you. Okay. And then if we look at new routes, so we've got... Um, hmm. Let's look at train new line. So no to a good there we go. To there. To there. Perfect. Add loco. Perfect. Right, we now need to look at these tracks. Because we've only got small little stations here. Oops. And he's not really very good at his building his uh Your trains his lines. might be fast, but do they also provide a decent level of comfort? Oh no, it looks like one mm. of your trains has a problem. Thank you. I believe that the railroad will democratize mobility. It is a means of transport that should be open to all people. Not only because it is profitable, no, but because it opens up people's eyes to the world. Spend the money. Thank you. Perfect. Stop this. Let me build. Thank you. It's probably just another Perfect. one of your little mistakes, but could it be that you just placed a bid? Yes, it was. You really Pay should me. pay more attention to the maintenance of your locomotives. Okay, let's do that. So we can then put another train on the track. Uh, put a signal in place. A big dream has become reality. Baltimore now has a direct connection to the Great Lakes. This will speed up the trade of goods and help bring more prosperity to the city. Right, so that one is going that way. Okay, let's 
Let's get that last bit of section of track in. Signal that way. I've built a new factory right next to your station. You are cordially invited to the opening ceremony. When I tell people about my plans for the railroad, they only see the problems. Laying the tracks, maintenance costs, labor costs. As if a fleet of stagecoaches were cheaper. And don't tell me these mountains of raw materials are supposed to be transported by horses. Oh dear, there seems to be a little problem with one of your locomotives. It does, does that? Right, are we going to get change? Here we go, perfect, right. So let's put another route train on there. We can do uh, something to the a actual competition um, creates business. So my new station won't do any harm. I've just thought I haven't got the um right. What is going on with her? She's doing my head in. Okay, so that's not connected. Oh my goodness me. Okay, so she's coming to Washington. Right, let's start buying oh some of dear. hers. Let's there get seems some to be Oh a shut up. Problem with one of your locomotives. Right, she's worth 15 million. Right, we're going to have to buy more shares in her. Shouldn't you be investing in the expansion of your own rail Research. network instead? Let's go for a faster train. How sweet. You have a new toy. And the Jarvis. Exquisite investment opportunity that I'm Mail not going cart. to waste. How sweet. You have a new toy. We've got call for tender that would reduce costs um increases transportation fee for freight perfect we'll go for that right um she's kind of can assign circling quite a lot cars to a train once you have researched them they improve a train don't want to do that Ooh. but reduce That's good. the number of freight cars the train can pull one more to achieve so we've got uh, have we not got um You really should pay more attention to the maintenance okay, of your locomotives. So a little competition creates business. So my new there. station won't do any harm. Oh, cancel that one. Yeah. Making sure there's plenty there. We think we need to uh, look at upgrading our trains, to be honest. So we've got... You understand your craft, I must admit. 26, 27. I hope that we will fight over land and rails for a long time to come. Uh, yeah, go on in. So Jarvis is 27 miles an hour. So let's upgrade all our trains. What are you going to do with that? You really should pay more attention to your money. Messenger. Express. Ooh, we need a million pounds to upgrade all. So maybe we look at. Oh no! It looks age. like one of your trains has a problem. It seems to be yeah, a little broke. Just this once, oh. I'll help you out with some cash. Be well, more careful. Thank you. I appreciate that. Time. Your trains I then might buy some fast, shares of her. Do they also provide a decent level of comfort? Yeah, there we go. How much has she got in me? She's got 28%. Ooh. Right, okay. So we now need to get a few more routes. Oh my goodness, she's over here as well. Ah. Right, let's go to Grand Rapids. Or... You just want one more supply. Do they need bricks? Bricks. No, they don't. Let's leave that off there. Do they need wool? I think they do actually. And then that will give us a. Uh... Yeah, let's get that wool in there. 
and then we can focus on getting the rest of the job done. For my friends on the East Coast, the Great Lakes are a long way away, and many of them never want to go there. This is because they have only just arrived in the new world. But think about their children. They won't want to spend their entire lives on the East Coast when a vast Perfect. land of unimaginable possibilities lies before them. Congratulations. You're doing some excellent work. Excellent. And your right. company has greatly increased in value. Right. Just as jump I from. it would. Okay. Where's this line? So we're going to there, to there. Perfect. Add loco. Oh no! Uh, it looks excellent. like one of your trains has a problem. Thank you. And we want to upgrade Oops. this one with a tool maintenance shed. Perfect. Right. So we should now have. Yeah, we just need to get our valuation up to 20, 200, or 20 million, and we're laughing. Right, so if I look at a uh, company, can I buy any more shares in her? Four shares. That's ridiculous. She's got 35 and I've got 23. All right, so I need to get my company up to a... Uh, Suits will level quite quickly. Uh, we're up to 300 points. So we can accelerate maintenance by 200. Uh, sorry, by 20%. Increases ticket prices for passengers. So let's go for that. Um, yeah, go for it. See whether she go goes for it. What are you going to do with that? You Doesn't really matter. should pay more attention to your money. Um, we want uh, increases number of applicants. All for tender. Uses construction of railroad buildings, factories, and urbans by 10%. Well, that will do. And she's bought more shares in me. Where are we at on value? We're at 18 and a half million. Uh, she's a 24. You really should pay more attention to the maintenance of your locomotives. Thank you. Uh, so what's going on? Can I see what's going on? Have we got no... That's probably what it is. We don't have... Don Johnson never actually looked after his trains. Baltimore uh, which is a pain. Is prospering. Oh. The upswing can be felt along the entire East Coast thanks to the dense rail network. And since you have connected the Great Lakes and cities such as Toledo, the United States have grown a little bit closer together again. My dear, now you're getting too successful for my liking. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Let's see how did we do? The trust in new technology and the art of the adventurous railroaders paid off. Within a few years, a patchy network of short railroad lines stretched from the coast to the Great Lakes, bringing new wealth and a period of dynamic change. Soon the first dreamers entered the scene, calling for a gigantic railroad link from the Atlantic to the Pacific the so-called Transcontinental Railroad. But how is the most enormous project of the century to be funded and executed when the first step had only just been taken? Oh, we got to an accountant level. That's quite good. Um, did everything competitors to competitor rating overall mm, yeah okay I, I can live with that um i think we'll call it a day there for this episode thank you very much for watching if you'd like what you've seen hit that subscribe and next time we'll look at the next chapter and until then that's murphy out